Well, hello everybody out there in fan land. I'm Marty O'Donnell. I'm the audio director and composer for Bungie Studios. And joining me today in these developer commentaries on this uh, uh, this evening is Joe Staten, the director of cinematics, and Jason Jones, the fearless leader of Bungie Studios. Welcome, guys. Let Thanks, the fans Marty. know what your voices sound like. Hi, Marty. <laughs> Jason has a deep, rich, manly voice. Yes. Wow, so, you know where it is. Opening scene. What do you think? Well, pillar since it's been autumn. a while that, since we've since I've seen this, the really funny part about all this stuff with the Pillar of Autumn is all of these shots. Is that Paul Russell built it in like four minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, is that the Pillar of Autumn never moves. Right. Uh, in this cinematic and other cinematics, it's just a piece of BSP geometry that the camera always moves around. So to simulate movement. Oh my god, it's Captain Keys. <laughs> Look at Captain. We had to do some crazy Keys. stuff. He's got at least 12 polygons. As for tracking us all the way from Now there, the just go ahead from a, from a behind the scenes point of view, the really interesting thing about Halo 1 cinematics is that probably at least 60% of all the movement of the characters is either done through AI behaviors or through playbacks. And playbacks are just someone possessing the character and running him around the space and recording what he does the player input and then playing that back again so keys moving around um, that's just a playback animation with a bunch of custom animations fired off in, in script right like this the pipe which you had a lot of trouble with the pipe and I remember you having a lot of trouble with hand shaking and other things like that what was keys doing just there <laughs> he was packing his tobacco what do you think he was doing <laughs> his eyes closed suggestively you know what I love about these guys, though, the crewmen, is that... They all have Matt Seeger's face. They all are Matt Seeger. <laughs> That's true. Matt Seeger, who was the sound programmer on Halo 1, and my, my good, good, good friend. Now, here's going to... is a scene, one of many scenes that we'll get to, where Jason uh, and I wrestled about exactly how much stuff we could put, because you could see a couple little frame rate pitches in here when I'm spawning warhogs and putting in pelicans. And Jason was a stern master, a stern master with the number of things I could throw in the scene. But then I always threw in a couple more. I don't remember any of that. <laughs> I don't remember ever being a stern master. <laughs> you know what I just realized about this? Does this warthog still crash when it goes yes, off frame? It does. Okay, listen to it. It's going to crash as it goes off scene. <laughs> Wait. Wait. No, I think it's the one that comes after this one. Yeah. And again, all these guys are just running... Uh, they're either running AI or, or playbacks to make these animations happen. Hey, Jason, explain to me why human beings would make a, a Jeep that big. I mean, look how big that is compared to Sergeant Johnson. Because it looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a four-year-old when he's trying to drive. And I think as Sergeant Johnson goes through these lines here, written by the uh, uh, unforgettable Ooh. Matt Sell, I think uh, this was the moment where, wait, wait for the crash. Damn right I am. Here it goes. It's going to go behind. Oh, looks like somebody fixed that bug, Marty O'Donnell. <laughs> you know what? We did do that. But it's I think like this was the moment it. we all realized that Sergeant Johnson... Here it is. Was going to Here it is. Gonna, this one's going to crash. Listen for it. No, they fixed it. They fixed it. <laughs> fixed it. I shouldn't have fixed it. In the game, you hear it crash. Sure. Right. Here's, here's what I'm thinking about this whole director's commentary thing. Yeah. Whatever this is called, developer's commentary. Designer commentary. Designer developer commentary. commentary. It reminds me of the famous Jamie Griezmer quote about 30 seconds of fun. Yeah. I think if anybody who sits through the two and a half hours, they'll probably have about 30 seconds of fun. <laughs> if we're lucky. <laughs> okay. Jason? I'll, I'll take it from here. Yeah. <laughs> You're out. I'll carry us through the next two hours. Look at that sink, Marty. That's good Foley sink. Remember how hard we had to work to make that happen? Only in normal is it in sync. I think it's out of sync in every other version. Wow. I guess we just skipped all the way to this cutscene. Oh, here we go. He's going to shake hands. Let's look. Yeah. How hard did you work on that? Let me just say that those animations were not authored together. They were authored separately. So getting them to actually shake involved slightly nudging their spawning points closer and closer until it actually worked. And of course the lovely Jen Taylor as Cortana, who mm -hmm. we just couldn't live without. Captain Keys, played by Pete Stacker, mm -hmm. who's also Sergeant Stacker. He's a dual role. Steve Downs. Oh, wow, that looked like it hurt. Steve Downs is Master Chief, but 
crewman. I'm initiating cold you know who that crewman was, right? Did you see we just blow through like six Dutch angles there? That was awesome stuff. <laughs> While you do what? Go down with the ship? Ah, <laughs> uh, where'd the pipe come from? There you go. That's the question of the day. But if you look from this point on, I believe Keys' mouth is permanently sort of turned down in the in the lower right corner <laughs> from his pipe. <laughs> Uh, and who kept shooting Cortana from the back? That's just not right. That's, that's why we have so many bo little boy fans. Hey, do you remember the bug where, um, because she was transparent and that the, the display was transparent, and we went round, I think that was one of the last bugs we fixed on these cinematics, was getting her to sort properly. Oh, really? No, I, I don't remember anything about Halo 1. <laughs> did, I, did I work on this game? <laughs> uh, I think. Force deployment, weapons research. Earth. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, he delivered stuff. that so well, though. Come on. Captain Kizu also said the best line in Oni. Mm. Joe. Dead. <laughs> Keep moving. <laughs> well, the great thing about sort of Bungie games is that we have this really cool stable of actors, right, that yes. stick around from game to game. All two of them? Yes. All, <laughs> all two of them. <laughs> you got to get rid of the guy that plays the grunt, though. He's a hack. <laughs> Well, I mean, in Halo, we really didn't have that many more characters than, you know, Keys, Cortana, and the Chief, and Spark. But the cast was so much, I mean, even Sergeant Johnson wasn't called Sergeant Johnson, he was just called Sniper Sergeant. But yeah, I mean, I think that that alone just made everything a little bit more simple. And you know what, honestly, we just weren't too worried in Halo 1 about tying up loose ends. Oh yeah, the, the chapter titles were pretty, some of them were pretty good. Mm-hmm. Shut up and get behind me. Sir. Sir. <laughs> I think we'll see that one in a little bit. <laughs> oh, gosh. We're all the way, all the way through the Pillar of Autumn already. Mm -hmm. We're skipping all the good parts. Now would be a very good time to leave. Great animation by uh, Mr. Steve Abeda. Yeah. Or maybe Steven Okasaki. I can't remember which. But this is one of the few scenes where we actually had a ton of, of custom animation because, you know, I couldn't walk the Master Chief around in a life pod or do AI. So, yeah, the Pillar of Autumn is not moving at all. Everything else is moving. Oh, and here's the famous, so I don't know how many people know this. Yeah. Oh wait, this is, the, this is my worst, my most, the bug that will always make my eyes bleed. If you look in the lower left hand corner, I yeah. think you can see the edge of the mat in this next <laughs> shot where Halo is coming up and you can see a little bit of, a little bit of, wait for it, okay, pillar bottom not moving. Yes. Gotcha. Well, it looks like it's moving. Lever yeah, camera work, Jay. Oh, wow. <laughs> and actually, Brian Morden, the guy who visited us uh, from the Make-A-Wish program, did that line, the autumn she's been hit. Yeah. We'll be up. There was the edge of the mat. <laughs> really? Yeah. I still missed it. Now, am I remembering correctly that this was your favorite cinematic from Halo 1? I think it was. it? That was brilliant. I'm crying right now. <laughs> Jason is crying. I can attest. By the way, who's the voice of the uh, dropship pilot at this moment? Is it Jay's wife? We're no. We're coming in too fast. Who is it? Damn, airbrake failure. They blew too early. I forget who is that. That's Jen Taylor. Is that Jen Taylor? That's, we, we put a Cortana line and a Jen Taylor line right next to each other, and you didn't even know. Interesting. Brilliant. She's a brilliant actress. Mm -hmm. Now that little snippet there of the inside the live pod thing, again, that was a playback recording, which is me sort of standing in the live pod as it's actually going in, recording both the movement of the pod and, and the camera. And that gets used a bunch of different times in Halo 1 cinematics, because Halo 1 cinematics were filthy, cheat-filled, <laughs> duct tape and bailing wire cinematics. Awesomeness. That's Bernie's bloom, right? Bernie, little raise of, raise of Buddha action. Raise a Buddha. Halo 1 was awesome. <laughs> it is. Well, what you happened? Have these long gameplay sections, you got to start the saying something. Some <laughs> Next time he shoots a grunt, I'll start talking. <laughs> you know, clearly Marty was filming the gameplay sequences oh, because see, they are gonna come they are plodding, but very very helpful. They're helpful. <laughs> I didn't want it to look like someone actually playing the game, but someone sort of filming the game. So I can't help but notice there are a lot of waypoints, Jones. What's up with all the waypoints in Halo 1? <laughs> I had nothing to do with them. I deny everything. <laughs> no. Oh, Q. AI. That's Combat my favorite piece of AI. Unbelievable. 
Now, here's my favorite line in the game. I don't know if they show it. Uh, yeah, don't we show it. Here it comes. This cave is not oh. a natural formation. It's not? It's not a natural formation? I don't believe it. Yeah, uh, no, duh. <laughs> Hey, Wait a minute, it looked like a natural cave to me. You remember how mad you were at me before the GameStock demo that we made where the Master Chief was flying around um, uh, Silent Cartographer? And we had the basics of the AI combat dialogue system in, and one of the few things the Marines did was raise their arm and say, woohoo, when they went over rocks. Uh huh. And I went back in the studio and re recorded them because they didn't sound like woohoo enough. And the Marines sounded really woohoo, and you started playing the game. Man, you were mad as a hoodie owl when you heard those new Marine dialogue. Wow, I Come seriously on. don't remember anything. <laughs> Did you hit Jason over the head, Marty? Yeah. He seems to have this has been in India. collective he's, memory he's loss. Just, he's so mellow now. <laughs> so mellow. Well, Marty, so talk mellow. a little bit about that little moment that we just saw. Oh, that was one of those moments. Yeah. Famous life bridge. Just went the f There's our ride. It wasn't actually a cinematic. It was a, what did we call those? We didn't have a name for them. That's right. Now they're going to be called... Uh, uh, vignettes or perspectives. Perspective. Perspectives. Yeah. But you and I talked about making sure we had little moments in the game where right. music would come in, camera control would be taken away for 10 seconds. Right. But those, those really didn't come in until the very, the very end of yes. the end of the project. But they were really easy to do, and I think were some of the more um, um, interesting moments of, of the game. Nice, silent, musical moments. Yes. Descriptive. And gave you a sense of where you were. Mm -hmm. Good context with not a lot of overhead. Because the rest of the time, you're just inside your own head. That's right. And this, you could, you could see yourself in your environment. Right. Jones, you got to step it up. I'm dying over here. <laughs> I think so, this is my favorite level from Halo 1. Marble Tone, scripted, my, Truth and Reconciliation. Uh -huh. It's the sniper rifle. Well, we love the sniper rifle. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> what? There's an original line. <laughs> some good dialogue, Joe. Though, really. Well, you know, I mean, this is really... I mean, you think uh, John Howard wrote some of this stuff? And I think uh, Matt Sell wrote some of it, and you wrote some of it. I don't remember. <laughs> You wrote all the stuff that was cool, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do. Oh, he's going to shoot a grunt. I'm going to have to start talking now. <laughs> oh, man, look at that. We skipped all the way up to here. Once we're inside the ship, I can home in on the captain's command neural interface. All the dreamy gameplay skipped right over. Which was a very good fight. We were so proud of these little lens flares, these little volumetric flashlights. I think Bernie and I spent like six hours one night just running around watching the Marines. With their lights on? Yeah, <laughs> from like midnight to six in the morning. But there were girls around, right? No. Oh. <laughs> it's one of those things there are never girls around. <laughs> so how big a team worked on Halo 1? We're in. Who remembers? Oh, I think it was about 40 people, right? Without... I mean, all the, early, all the burly men of Test. And yeah, don't count Test. <laughs> Only because... Don't let Harold hear this. No. <laughs> I just, I'm just in terms of working on the game and not testing. Because right. we've oh. got all sorts of extra wow. people in the test. Too. Invisible Sword Elite! <laughs> oh, obviously... How many Sword Elites came out on Legendary Difficulty? Does everybody, anybody remember? No, I don't. Paul Bertone, who's not here to answer for his crimes. <laughs> Legendary. was That was the worst on Legendary. Oh, wait. That was this? Awesome. All right, what level did we cut that necessitated this cinematic? Oh, do you I remember? I don't remember. <laughs> Coming here was reckless. You but there's some choice dialogue that's about to dialogue. happen. Where Captain Talk about Keith, exposition. Yeah, well, you know, he is Captain Exposition. That was our nickname. <laughs> yeah, no, tell me about the level we cut. I can't remember. I seriously don't remember. Cut. But I, I mean, it's all familiar, but. We cut oh, yeah. the level where we, oh, in a more elegant way, described this. Right. Here it comes. About oh, yeah. What do they call it? They call it Halo. <laughs> well, of course they do. Halo. <laughs> Chief takes it in stride. Come on. Yeah. Chief knows exposition when he hears it. Remember those guys down at E3 that thought Chief was a girl because there's always a girl's voice coming out of him? <laughs> well, in every, in every movie or game, I mean, there's always that scene, right, where you know you've got a expose the critical details. Usually you try to dramatize it nicely, but there's some drama there. Keys has got some, some pipe business. Hey, explain the cameras the, moving around. Explain the lighting in this level, because this is cinematic lighting par excellence. 
Well, I mean, really, I think all of this lighting, I really don't remember how much lighting, cinematic lighting we had turned on for Halo 1. Yeah, that is. I think it's all uh, just the way it was. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you, yeah, I don't think you had to, any choices. Yeah. <laughs> you just had to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> this was like, oh, I, I remember that now. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> A new mission for you. The moment when all the Marines get covenant guns and you leave the ship that you just invaded with the captain in tow. I don't know. I was always really excited about there that. There it is. Emotionally. Oh, Shut up and get behind me. <laughs> Sir. Yeah. Now, given he's a neither, you want to describe that bug? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on, Jason. Whose idea was that? That was uh, Paul's idea. Oh, okay. But if I remember correctly, the bug was that Keys still had AI behavior, right? Which was taunt enemy corpse with his weapon. <laughs> and so Keys, with the needler, would of course unload into the dead, a lead or what have you. And then explode and kill himself. And explode and kill himself. <laughs> that was that was pretty classic when Keys ran up to a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Filled him with needles and then blew everybody up. Oh wait, up. Get on board. explain this part. Oh, it's perfectly obvious what happens. What's you happening were... here? Weren't there hunters or something? Yeah. And, and, and where's the shot that shows us killing the hunters? I think this was one of those cinematics in Halo 1 where we kind of ran out of time. If you notice, there aren't Here's any the hunters. characters really except for the okay. two hunters. Hang on. He's going to kill them. Controls and boom. Oh. Keys is, Keys is a badass. So now, we're supposed to like... A I had to take the hunters out <laughs> because the collision with that cinematic model of the of the dropship yeah. that they they sort of interpenetrated and yes. it didn't look too uh, our first level uh, b30 that was our code name we spent so much time rebuilding and rebuilding and rebuilding b30 that what they call the silent cartographer turned out pretty well the cartographer is a map room <laughs> I remember you were swaying that dropship because you're just trying to make it look cool. The island has multiple structures and installations. Uh, little Steve Abeda right there, animation. The Marcus looking good, the Marcus Marine. I totally guilted Steve into doing that. Because yeah. that, that guy was just standing in his seat facing forward. Yep. Go, go, go. This is one of my favorite uh, encounters, though. And we have the full Halo music playing in this encounter for the first time. <laughs> oh, and that we're done. Wow. Now, the panel to shut down the what, Jones, was the original objective for this mission? Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of becoming the theme of the evening, but uh, Good. I don't remember, Jones. <laughs> it was to kill the prophet who was trying to find this silent cartographer. Remember, you were supposed to, the prophet was going to go, he was getting the map, and you were supposed to go and assassinate the prophet, which like most good ideas that we don't execute on the first time around, we save for the next, the next game. <laughs> Are you saying awesome. that we haven't thought through every story point for every game all the way from beginning to end? I could be saying that, but really what I'm saying is we usually <laughs> fail to execute on brilliant oh, ideas wait. the first time around and then knock them out of the park next Here's time. Here's one of my favorite. We did this because we did this in, Exo, in the XO2 demo. Here it is. Ah. Little little Just playback animation, you. little uh, little AI walk. And cue the it, custom animation. Why is there a stone here? He's got a big backpack. What? Why is there a stone there? Well, there's not a stone there that? anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think the chief just took uh, care of that problem. Yes, that's a great perspective. I think the chief's motivation was to walk to the end of the diving board and kick off the one and only stone <laughs> in all <laughs> of the Halo One interiors <laughs> in Halo One. He didn't like it. There. That hollow panel should Ah, some good Shikai hologram Ladies action. Ladies and gentlemen, Shikai Wang. Yep. <laughs> Beauteous. Analyzing. So talk about the mirrored floors. Halo's control center is located there. <laughs> I don't remember anything about the mirrored sort of floors. I think back then, uh, back then mirrors were all the rage. Mm -hmm. Did we have any mirrors in Halo 2? And I guess we're talking about Halo 1. There's one on the floor of the control room. But we'll get to that in about two hours. <laughs> <laughs> After the 30 seconds of fun are done. Ah, oh. Yeah, B30. I have a lot of fond memories of B30. It's like a childhood home. Mm -hmm. Backyard. Well, you could go two different ways around the island. Well, I mean, really? it was the Halo 1. It was the Halo 1 test bed, right? I mean, that's where, that's where everything started. Now, this cinematic... Again, we cut a level. And I don't remember what level we cut. That's horrible. The coordinates are underground. And I had to... Well, we had to couple this. No, no, because this is B30 and the next level is B40, right? 
that's true. But I don't think so there was anything me cut. We always had planned <laughs> that we were going to open up the magic hidey hole. I'm not saying it was a good plan. <laughs> Wait, I here's, think actually, here's Shikai covering our asses again with yeah. the absolutely fake manhole. Oh yeah, that, that's the pelican actually the, fit in that manhole. Oh, the pelican, the pelican's like 14 miles long. <laughs> it can carry 70,000 people. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's oh, what we didn't actually show. The okay, pelican. wait a minute. Wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Staten, grunt comedy. Grunt comedy. Oh, I would have been your daddy, Marty. Oh, I forgot about that. That was Pete Stacker's a line. Fine, Pete Stacker line. Yeah, he improvised that line. Here we go. Let's listen. Yeah. A little <laughs> sniffing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Academy Award time right there. Grunt comedy always gets old. I forgot how we painted ourselves into a corner where we, yeah, needed to do a drop, a drop ship insertion from, like, inside a structure, and so we ended up flying down through the manhole on V-30. Well, in Halo 1, we really didn't have a lot of, um, we didn't really have a lot of big sort of matte painting helped transitions from one space to another. I mean, we had like this tropical island and then we went to snow, right? And I think I remember one of your concerns was that it was just gonna be hard to pull off that transition um, from one from one place I, to the next. So remember. you decided it was easier just to put the pelican through a tube. I, I decided it was easier to make you suffer, is that? Yeah. that? This is it, Halo's control center. The control center. We just oh, yes. we just talked right over me singing. I'm Was shocked. that you? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> There's Man, a that big is room. a big room. Look at that thing. I love it. Master Chief always looks like he's walking with a slight little gimp. What's, what's up with that? <laughs> you know, and you can see in this scene, because this is a lot of playback animation where it's just, you know, me running around recording his stuff. Mm -hmm. and I, I mean, you probably have the more technical explanation for this, but it was keeping track of my input, right? And so if I had bad... Um, and I was doing this all on the, on the, on, in the tool on the PC. So if I had bad lag on my mouse, it made the chief's movements jittery, jittery, yeah. right? So you can see him. You can't imagine the wealth of information. Ah, oh, yes, giant Cortana. Giant wow. Cortana. There was an alternate very early in the version of the story where, when he rediscovered Cortana, she'd like gone berserk with power and wanted to take over Halo in the universe. What happened to that story? It was too good. <laughs> we had to use this one instead. Are you say you came up with a story where a woman <laughs> became drunk with power and wanted to take over the universe? Let's not go there. I don't believe that for a second. Sensitive. Oh, we'll get to Miranda strapping a bomb to the Chiefs back when we get the Halo 2. <laughs> that, that would have been awesome. I, I was for it, Jason. If, if only the world of that video game fans knew what they were missing mm -hmm. knew what had been taken from them <laughs> who is the jerk oh, told you that scary jeez what are we her eyes we can't let him get inside why did, well this was this was cool mm -hmm. get out of here find keys and i love the cheese yeah. animation there and he like starts <laughs> running away before he even knows what he's doing <laughs> i'm going i'm doing it i don't know what i'm doing but i'm going <laughs> Uh, the glowy lady said to go. Now, this, I think, is the cinematic that almost killed me and you two guys, too. Because it is pretty much start to finish. Not this one, but the one, the one that comes after. Yes, um, very quickly. I hope. Right, except for some, some, some really cool custom animation about toward the end. All playback animation, AI stuff, back to back. Taking one character as the lead actor, running him through his moves. Oh, yeah. Again, <laughs> selecting the next guy, running him through, recording his stuff, and just building up this this um, collection of different recordings for all these characters. But do you remember how careful we were to not let anybody know that? I mean, this was the big twist that yeah. the flood was being introduced, and right, this was the big moment that we had to like fake everybody out into thinking they were doing something else, but we were actually introducing the flood. Oh, I love this little. We're under. <laughs> Attack! Oh, something. Yeah, this. this uh, yeah, this, this mission was good. good. This was the cutscene I was looking forward to the most. I think to seeing done in its final place in the whole game. Not, not this one. The one that we're about yeah. to see. Mm -hmm. And luckily, we had a little extra time after that cutscene, which somebody, Jamie Griezmer, wanted to take away and go right into action. I'm like, <laughs> Jamie, you gotta have a little time to let the players adjust to they're in the same place. Oh, crazy oh, marine. Crazy, crazy marine. Back. <laughs> Stay back. You're not turning me into one of those things. Now, the original plan... Get away 
the original plan for Crazy Marine was he was actually going to, when you remember Marty, we had yes. a fight, uh, not a fight about this, we don't no, ever no. fight, but never fight. <laughs> Crazy Marine was supposed to stay alive, and then when you walked however many world units away from him, and we checked, you know, to see that you weren't looking, he was, we were just going to have this big bang, he right, and you would come back and you'd be dead on the floor. No, I was fine with that. The thing I didn't, I didn't ever want you to see him kill himself. Mm. But I also didn't want all of his lines to be said all in uh, a row. Exactly. They I were supposed to be said at different times, mm -hmm. but instead, Jamie said, uh, boring. Just have them all said at the same time. Right. Not that we're, yeah, we're kind of speak belaboring bad that here. About Jay. <laughs> yes. Well, Marty is focusing on Crazy Marine. Well, I He's guess got the bottomless <laughs> clip. <laughs> <laughs> But some of the light sticks, those were some of the few cool, like the, I remember, the, who made the big pass on this level at the very end? Was that Jamie? They just went through oh, and splashed. Jeez, Marty. <laughs> Jamie Sorry. went in and just splashed a whole did bunch that. of blood decals and a whole bunch of crazy, like made yeah, these little yeah, covenant yeah. barricades yeah, cool, and really cool. did some awesome stuff. Coming down the elevator and seeing the blood all over the walls. Right. Notice how the music takes you down this hallway. Of course, I'm going as slow as I possibly yeah, can. Yeah, notice how Marty's exactly running everywhere perfectly to <laughs> maximize the effect of the music. I'm looking in. What is that? You know what, Marty? This music takes me other places, too. It takes me to some real special, special happy places deep inside my, my heart. Good. <laughs> And then we go down this. You see, I'm being real cautious. Like, this is every the way players walk be. This slowly. <laughs> <laughs> they should, in this level, they should be kind of freaked out. That's what That's I was true. saying. Look at the blood, the thing. It's no, there scary. Was good, there was I'm looking left. Yeah. Wait, what's to the right? Mm. <gasps> A trigger volume? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the idea that knowing something horrible happened and going into the very room where it happened, yes. but, but not knowing that's where it happened until you listen to the yes. video. Mm -hmm. See, that's what's cool about this. Yeah. But somebody needs to explain to me. Yeah. Why, why does the Master Chief put this little video playback chip in his head and it makes these fast forward noises like some old VCR tape? I'm not quite sure, but why does every time that someone talks on the radio in Halo, does it make that? He says, I haven't improved radio communications. 500 years in the future. I think it's the same. They've already been improved, actually, in the present. Yeah, this was... Uh, uh, that's because real weapons 500 years from the future are going to be totally boring. <laughs> As Rob McLeese likes to say, yes. a weapon 500 years in the future is going to be a glass of water. <laughs> and you drink it, and all your enemies die. <laughs> and I think we probably got to that point, like 300 years in the future, and then we decided to go back to fun guns. Fun guns. Private Jenkins. <laughs> Remember, I wanted you to license an actual song for yes. this? What were we going to license? Magic Carpet, Enid right? Enid Black. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Rot Rolling Stones. Instead, this is an O'Donnell Salvatore original rock and roll something. Uh. <laughs> oh, you know, Mendoza was cool. I liked him. With Lorraine, Lorraine McLeese. Oh yeah, she was the, the dropship drop pilot. pilot. He looks clear. I'm bringing us down. Excellent, Lorraine. And again, this is the only time I shot out the back. Well, when I wasn't shooting out the back of the Pelican, it's because the Pelican, because it was all a playback, was just vibrating like a <laughs> in the trees, and they kept like cutting through the the bay and stabbing people in the head. Oh, it was horrible. And then I think Chris Barrett pushed this, put that bush there right at the very end. Or not to blame Chris, he didn't do it, but like the magic bush that was never there before when I made all the playbacks. No, let's let's blame Chris. That's more fun. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so what is this video effect? Jamie probably helped him. They did it together. Now, pretty much every time I'm not pointing the camera at the action, it's to avoid an animation pop, spawning a character. <laughs> Something that was bad. Play. And I think I must have tried to record this because I ran all the guys through and then tried to record a camera. And like once you do the, all this camera stuff is being recorded in real time. So he's just going through and trying to I make like it work. I like how is made of concrete when he kicks him. <laughs> Wait, was he? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't move at all. Move it off. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, I'm looking away because Keys is about to pop off screen. Boop! Oh, hey, Keys. <laughs> <laughs> And this is all playback stuff. I went, like, this is me, mouse and keyboard, in our controlling tool. Controlling every single controlling character. Controlling every single character, yeah. Those were the good old days. I don't remember them as 
good. Precisely. <laughs> they were old, though. They were old. They were old. Right. Well, let's get this door open. But, but See, just but a good really voice good... acting covers everything. Like, watch. He's going to pop before he does his custom animation. So look away. Pop. <laughs> Here he goes. Look back. Hey. <laughs> and that's, that's what the chief saw. That's right. That's the same thing. <gasps> And now we're going into the room where the chief was last seen. Marty, I noticed there's no music here. What was that choice about? Oh, it's all ambience. If you guys ran out of listening closely, there's really cool, spooky ambience here. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hear it? It's just spooky. Yeah. This is actually the name of the piece is now wait. Spooky One. Did you hear the gun noise? Every time you spawned a no, character in no. Halo 1, it made the reload sound. Oh, and Halo 2, Halo 2 and Halo 3, by the Jason. way. Jason. Jason. <laughs> Oh, wait. Private Carney. Chris Carney, ladies and gentlemen. Look how casual Keys looks. Now, the guy's obviously dying. Do you copy? Over. Mendoza. Do we know how much Scully was going to kick ass before we cast him? No. no. Well, yeah, actually. No. When he came in, he was great. David Scully, Sergeant Johnson. How many times does Sergeant Stole the Johnson show? die in this game? <laughs> But look, look at four keys doing his playback animation with his, with his neck. Ah, yes, here they come, busting out. First time ever, the party hats. They're not so much busting as getting stuck on the door. Wait, here comes one! <laughs> Those things are big. Yeah, they are big. It's like they're getting mobbed by turkeys. Hey. Boy, that was some bleepable language. Now, there's some sort of bug. I don't know if this is the one you put where we're in infection form would invariably fix itself to Keyes' crotch and yes, <laughs> just start munching away. <laughs> this is all just AI, like spot yeah, up infection know. forms and let, the, let it happen, right? Well, no, that's why I had, to, like, I, had to, I, had to, I had to capture that movie a couple of times, I swear. Because uh, of, the, the, of the crotch yeah, the di diving crotch of the grab. infection form? Mm -hmm. Well, now the chief, he's worried. Now, now this is where right. it's all right here. What Jamie wanted to do here is immediately have, boom, the flood attack. And I said, please, just give me a little time Mm -hmm. To say, all right, you this saved, is a creepy place. You saved Halo One. I did. <laughs> right here. Right here. Jamie would have been out of control. <laughs> and then, here come the party hats. <laughs> wow, that looks oh, cool. Man, that is so cool. Ah, yeah, Marty. Way to way to build anticipation. <laughs> the only time we could get more than like four enemies on the screen at once in Halo One is if they were infection forms. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at the field of view in that shotgun. Now, the, the name of that level was... Wait a minute. What now, was the name of that level? Because that was 343 Guilty Spark there. That was a chapter title. That was a chapter title. I think what was, was the name of the... What was the name of the level? I'm trying to listen to the light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Spark. He didn't have any... He didn't have any uh, custom animation or playbacks in that scene, but he could look to points. You saw right there where I could script him to look down or look up or look right or left. <laughs> For full hammer. It's just funny to watch him here, and he's still got that great little, you know, character piece of yes. his eye moves in time with his flickers in time with his with his speech. But if you look at the stuff in Halo Three now and the great work it's getting done, I mean, he's just so much more animated and cool. But yeah. thank God we had the light flickering yeah. and <laughs> the cool voice acting of Tim Dadabo. Listen to the sound effects. Is this a, is this a level from Mario? You get to see what you're going at. <laughs> exactly right. Now the question is. Who opens this door? <laughs> I. The cameraman. Who opened that door? You know who I think it was? Just the grave mind. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> oh. The humming monitor. Tim Dadabo. I hope you captured some stuff of you shooting the monitor. Oh, yes. I'm sure I do. I bet you I do right now. Come oh. on. Yes. Please control your Marty, you're See? not zooming when you're shooting the pistol. Well, because zooming a pistol never made any wow, sense to me. Look how fast that pistol was firing. What were you <laughs> thinking? <laughs> it's uh, it's cool. I, I remember uh, liking this level a lot. I like the library. <laughs> I want to play it right now. Absolutely. Good work, Tyson. That was good stuff. Tyson has gotten a bad rap for this level. I love this level. I seriously do. Wow, look at the textures. They're like four by four pixels. Oh, geez, we're done already. Sorry, guys.
You just zip through it. Well, you know, you got to be efficient. Yes. Well, here's Spark doing a little some some playback stuff. There's a little bit more animated. Now you again. I remember you did Jason disliking pretty much every time that I put Rumble Rumble in the controller in a cinematic. Yes. And I think I put some right there. A little little Rumble. I probably just didn't notice it. Now now, how's the chief standing? Where he's standing? <laughs> It's a mirror, it's a glass surface, right? I don't know, that's so interesting. What bug number was that? I forget. <laughs> bug number won't fix. <laughs> bug number, ship it. Look at that jerk. In- incident one of the magic disappearing index in Halo 1. Because what is the index made out of? No it's one really made out of. Us. <laughs> it's the same as the Cortana chip that just disappears into slots. The flood is spreading, we must hurry. I, for, I mean, just looking back, I'd forgotten how much of the Halo 1 cinematics really was just, just camera movement. I mean, it just was things which stood still or moved in simple ways. <laughs> Neither of these characters even have lip sync. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Made it a little easier. Genius. I just nod my head. Yeah, it's, sort of, it's a little bit laggy because the, the input. It's funny. I mean, all that looking, all the, See, all now, the walking you know around is playback. He's got a gimp right now. It's some kind of... Yeah, he's he's been through a lot. He's hurt. Code. <laughs> Unfortunately, my also known as whack. Look at Spark fly to his points. Man, that is an actor that can hit his marks. And cut on the poppy animation. Now, it was funny because I, I don't remember exactly why this was true. Probably because in Halo 1... So we have no idea how he took the index from Spark. We just, that's always off happens camera. Off I camera. Love it happens off camera. Genius. <laughs> oh, oh Spark. Oh, really? There she I comes. love this scene. Boom! Now, when you don't have time to make an effect, you just make the screen go kind of green. <laughs> toady? Well, do you toady. remember why she says things like toady? No. Because originally, you wanted Cortana to have a British accent, Jason. What? <laughs> yes, you did. I don't remember any of this. You guys could say anything. All those words. You know what? Were- That's actually true because when we cast Cortana, we asked every woman to do an English accent for us at the same Mid-Atlantic, time. Mid-Atlantic, maybe, kind of. Don't try to blame this on me. We did. And then <laughs> we decided not to. <laughs> I absolutely am. Sod off, toady. Sod what is off, toady. And I think this was one of those cinematics where we'd already... Gee, Marty, this was one of those cinematics where we already had a bunch of dialogue recorded. Yeah. And I made the point that maybe a sort of American-sounding AI shouldn't be saying things like that. And I think your response was, Jim, Won't beep fix. this. Go f*** yourself. We're not re-recording <laughs> that dialogue. Marty wouldn't say something I like would that. Never. That's my interpretation. I re-record everything you want, Joe. You said, I'm very busy. I think we should ship what we have. But thank you for your suggestion. <laughs> Whatever. We're all equally edible. Mm. The only way to stop the flood is to starve them to death. Now, does that make a lot of sense? Sure. Could someone explain that to me? I just, I've never quite gotten that. All sentient beings, so we starve them to death. What's I love exactly? How every Halo game, <laughs> we always have to have the scene yeah. where someone explains how the flood works and what the Halo rings do to them. <laughs> I mean, Jason, when this did was you written, come up this with that? This was written all by Jones. But, uh, that is so much. No, no, the, this, the, the, oh, the, the, the spark, the spark more technical. <laughs> the chief's just staring at him. <laughs> he's trying to decide who to believe. That's what he's, he's making up his mind now. Behind the mask, he's going through a variety of emotions. Yes. Do I stay with my little glowing friend or my AI girl? What do I do? What you've already done. Yeah, there are only so many different ways you can you can move a camera around a non-moving See, look, he's object. Like, okay, do I do this? Do I do this? Hmm. Oh, here they come. Wait a minute. He's got an AR in his hand. We must activate the ring. I hope. I hope. I hope the chief has a really punchy, awesome line to finish this scene. I guess we gave it to Spark, didn't we? Here it is. Yes. Wow, those sentinels just aren't moving, are they? They're threatening. Not going to happen. That, that's not, not going to happen. Of course here it comes, not. Here comes. Dispose of the rest. Oh, take what? that. Dispose of the rest. I love that. Dispose. Look out. But what? I, for, 
now he's got a plasma pistol. Somebody explain that to me. <laughs> I swear he had an AR. Explain to me how you missed that first Sentinel. <laughs> <laughs> that was Joe. I remember he he, uh, he yeah. did nice decaling. Now this this was one. Oh no, what level did we cut here? <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, we're like trying to, Let's how do you ask. disable the power cores? How do we do that? There's got to be explosives. There's got to be an explosion. Like, just walk into a... possibly happen? Wait, why don't we just walk into a big glowy light? No, if we walk into the lens flare... Here comes the best exposition of the game. <laughs> of course there is. Absolutely. That's how the monitor moves about. Okay, yeah. Listen to how fast Jen is talking. <laughs> yeah, because you wrote this like in the last second before she showed up. What? Jen's saying, what the hell are you people making me read? Pull it from your suit? Only once. Well, why is that, Joe? So how are you going to like distract people from saying, why haven't you been using this method of transportation this whole time? Let me just say the, the worst cinematic in the game, which is what we just saw, <laughs> is actually bookended by the best cinematic in the game. With the fly-through here? No. Don't you remember? Oh, gosh. Well, no, I don't remember. It was the signature comedy moment of Halo 1 that, that I, I, think, I think eventually you came around to thinking was actually pretty good. But, I mean, you know my impulse is always to put in a little comedy. This, oh, this, well, this I remember you thinking yes. was a bit, a bit too much. <laughs> so is this Captain? Is this Master Chief and Cortana flying through the level, or is this just, is this how they're getting around? What, what are we looking at here, Joe? Okay. And then, yeah, oh, here we are. This is brilliant. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, see. Nice spark. Right. Oh. She, he hit it's a Cortana. nice little moment. It's a great it's moment. It's a nice little moment. And that will distract us from thinking about why we're using this transportation grid for one time only. Yeah, I'm thinking in the cinematic that came before that one, the chief just should, should have started hitting his head a lot to distract people from that dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the bl blab, blurpy Good. drops that come down here. Analyzing damage. Yes. This yes, you've got to jump. Kind of but you could sit here for quite some time. Wait, Tyson, why don't you start an infinite flood respawner right behind yes. the scene? <laughs> you know, Tyson told me it wasn't infinite. Is that true? I don't think it was infinite so much as it became more and more demonic as time went yeah. by. Certainly not the 30 seconds of fun we all talk about. I think Tyson just started spawning flood that didn't have weapon like weapons like carrier forms. Oh my gosh, the most brilliant thing in Halo 1 was the fact that the carrier forms didn't explode from a grenade until they landed. <laughs> that's cool. So, oh, that's good. Yeah, I waited for her to give the line that jump in the fluid is looking better all the time. Comes one of the few map paintings in our game. Whoops. Wherever it is, I guess we missed it. Interactive music right there. Nice splash. Hey, look! You're underwater. I love it. No, you're under. You're under <laughs> fluid. <laughs> that was the that was the Halo One marathon moment right there. Yes. Well. Oh. Back we go. This grab lift wasn't quite as much fun as the Truth and Reconciliation grab lift. Really now I'd like to say that I was the guy who said we need to have Captain Keys say, "Chief, leave me," because I said we need to have a reason why. You're looking for Captain Keys, and you believe that he might be on there. Just want you guys to know that. I think, Marty, that was a really good suggestion. That was I'm the second you time it. you saved Halo 1. <laughs> Twice. This is where you really started to feel sorry for the Covenant. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and a little bit for Keys, too. Why'd you feel sorry for the Covenant here? Well, because they're... Uh... <laughs> Did you play this level? <laughs> Now, I think it's true that in Halo 1, since all the camera points were placed by hand in the tool, yeah. that ev we didn't have an ability in Halo 1 to actually just make them start at a set speed and continue at that set speed and stop. They all had a curve, sort of an acceleration curve, where they would start slow and speed up and then slow down again. So if you look, all the camera moves have this weird sort of very even, I mean, not even, but they all sort of swoop in and swoop out. Right. Which I'm not saying is good, but it's just a little, a little Let's detail you notice. Let's go back to Rob McLees with that around. excellent flood keys brain goo particle yeah. effect when you shake that thing. If you listen closely right there, he's still going, uh, 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 even though he's he smashed his head in, yeah. From his shattered head. Oh. Not a lot of cover in this room. <laughs> 
There we go. Some action, baby. I think it's safe to say that was the easiest cinematic to make. Yes. The Halo one. Now, Joe, what do you think about this next cinematic? Um, I don't know. I don't remember what it is. Oh. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, yeah, I like I like this one. I, I take it back. This is this is my favorite <laughs> cinematic from Halo One. And I gotta I say, heard Marty, you say this before. I gotta say this because it was the cinematic where I came into your office and said, "Hey, Marty, uh, I don't know, man. I, I don't really know. I just there's I got this camera move. I, I, there's no dialogue. I think it's gonna look cool, but I remember being dog tired. And you said, "I got it. I, I gotta take you got care. some music for this. That's all you need. Yeah. Just like the Halo." Announcement trailer in 1999. It's just yeah. music and action. That's all you need. Yeah. <laughs> no dialogue. Until the, the you do great, the comedy great, moment at the end. Great looking, great looking Marathon ship movie. and environment. So simple, but yet, I mean, that, what, that's what it was all about. Just the. But Joe has to get the comedy in. Well, <laughs> it was a Halo One Hallmark. Another Steve Abeta animation coming here. Whoa. Whoa! You did that on purpose, didn't you? <laughs> nice. <laughs> what, what the Chief of Cortana that? had such a good, good yes. little witty back and forth in Halo One. That was good. It's a great level. I love this level. Mm-hmm. Oh, see now, let's go and look to see. Oh, I dot my Banshee. eyes, Marty. There's I dot the my eyes. See? Yeah. I just wanted everybody to know the Banshee was still uh. down there burning. Here we are. The return. The return to the beginning. Hey, Jason, how come we're reusing geometry again? Because otherwise the game would have been the two levels shorter. Ah, <laughs> uh, three levels. Now, I think this was Paul Russell. I don't know how the hell we figured out that countdown clock, but I remember that was a huge pain in the Oh, yeah, somebody wrote... Code like that a shader. That? Yeah, I think that's actually like in the pixel shader, like running that freaking clock <laughs> for a cinematic. Yeah. Wow. Ah, a little cutaway. He looks excited, doesn't he? Yeah. All of our lost time. What does that mean? Human history is it? Oh. Mm. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> that's a clue. Yeah, Guilty Spark's my favorite character. <laughs> These good times. And Guilty Spark is one of those characters completely easy to write for. Because nobody's actually listening to him. <laughs> I think it's safe to say there's a lot of you and a lot of me in Little Guilty Spark. A bookish, kind of annoying little fellow that nobody listens to. <laughs> And I will endeavor to make your death relatively painless. And at least I still have control over the comm channels. <laughs> Wait, here comes the grenade that's larger than the world. So what was up with that, Jones? He must be trying to take Making every single object laying on the ground in, in Halo 1. So people could see it. It was better than Absolutely. standing it up and spinning it around. <laughs> Wait, what games do that? This is great. I love it when Cortana says she doesn't know what to do. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm coming with you. <laughs> That's so cute. Sentinels. Oh, poor Chief. I forget what bug this was. Whenever he got shot playing a custom animation, he went a little bit crazy. Oh, poor Chief. No, his arm's going to go all wonky. Ugh. Ship it. I never noticed that. <laughs> uh, hey, at least he's got the AR oh, coming out of the cinematic. There were so many cool little screen effects that we that we lost in Halo 2 as well. Like the ability to go in there and just sort of do the, you know, sort of radial blurs. And I mean, not, that's not exactly what we call it, but just all the, the colors that we could wipe across the screen. Now, here we go. More interactive music, guys. Watch this. Did you hear that? That yeah. little string did crescendo? Get, did you get Faux Hammer's death in here, too? I probably did. Mm -hmm. Come on, the, the trench run. This is this is one of the best endings in the history of games. I love this ending. You're so humble. Well, I didn't write it. <laughs> now, if I remember, Marty, I scored it. <laughs> <laughs> then I just crashed like that. You know, I think oh, you might have used this God. piece of music oh, before, Marty. <laughs> you know, I didn't get Fallhammer's death. I'm sorry. That's all right. That's all right. No, actually, this piece of music you're hearing right now, mm -hmm. this is the only time it's used in the game. Oh, is it? Yeah. 
So there. It must be your, you know, your great <laughs> reuse of themes, Marty. I was recognizing the theme of the music is what reuse I was doing. Reuse of themes, yeah. It's just lazy. Uh, those flood could run a little bit faster, I think. <laughs> I'll almost catch you. Steve Abeta animation. <laughs> See, that's great. Well, when your character has no face. All body. All body. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, you guys can sure talk. <laughs> yeah, Jason, you gotta hold up your end now. Okay, it's someone's time. got to. <laughs> and Lee Wilson, who's who's you know the full-time Bungie storyboard guy, now was when he was you know a contractor living in New York doing storyboards. He had drawn these beautiful scenes of just this flood army spilling toward spilling toward a uh, high charity. And I remember thinking, uh, not high charity, a uh, pillar of autumn. Pillar of autumn. And I remember thinking. Damn, how the hell are we ever going to pull that off? But it's pretty funny. I don't know, six or seven little flood guys walking across the screen. Looks like an army Got shot in the right angle. <laughs> there is no sound in outer space. Wow, this game was awesome. Shut them down. We'll need them later. <laughs> there is no sound in outer space. It's true. Ah, yes. I got a little bit too close to those particles, maybe. <laughs> but that's all right. <laughs> Here we go. Private Dustin Echoes. <laughs> He's out there somewhere. He is. We, we almost, I don't even know how this happened. We didn't have any time to do this. I don't know how this, the ring ever even blew up. Marcus made it blow up one night and uh, we all came in the next day and yeah, it had been done. Did anyone else make it? Here it is. Scanning. Marcus made a lot of stuff happen that way in Halo 1. Yeah. Just dust and echoes. Dust and echoes. We'll go back for them. <laughs> I think Dustin Echoes was the guy that opened that door in the library. That's true. You know, I always did want Sergeant Johnson to, like, come out of some little cubby hole here. Well, we had a bunch of legendary ending jokes where Sergeant Johnson came out, like, brushing his teeth. <laughs> and he came out doing a bunch of funny things, which we, which we couldn't do. Now, the funniest thing about that was, I remember when fans finally were able to, to go in in Halo PC, I think, probably and sort of detach the camera and see what was going on and try to see what was under the chief's helmet. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the chief takes off his helmet. He's wearing another helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> and I remember- And then here we are. Just give me, just give, just me, give some me some black. black. That's just give right, me some Joe. black. How, Marty, how, how much black? About 15 seconds. It's not 15 20. <laughs> Come on, it's it's the ending of the entire game. Or is it the beginning? Oh, that's so... Da, da, da. Do we show credits now? Because that's going to be really boring. Oh, my gosh. Uh, <sighs> since we're not recording anymore, I think it's safe to say, like, this is, this is awesome. Like, Halo 1 had a beautiful simplicity that, uh, yeah, that <laughs> just doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is, this is inspiring to see. But it's, I mean, it's, yeah, it's funny. Halo 1 seemed unwieldy compared to Marathon. But like, yeah, now Halo 3 seems unwieldy compared to Halo 1. Like everything is just, it's just like the simplest, like brush strokes trying to, like a couple lines from Cortana that, I mean, the ship's being attacked. Like that's the whole message, message of like the beginning, mm -hmm. like coming up on Halo. But it's in the art too. It's in, I mean, it's in the, it's in the environments and the, and like the characters. Just the way, like everything pops, like the, there's no like mess. Like all the jackal shields and they're, like are just, they're really like crisp. Look at the size of that credit. Woo! Wow. You know, I think the only thing bigger than that credit is your ego. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so Marty, seriously, come clean. How much of the music did Michael Salvatore write in Halo 1? <laughs> Good stuff. I think uh, this is the old Mullins matte painting, Chris Barrett, After Effects work. Scroll to credits. I really hope we get more Jason in Halo, the Halo 2, but he, he might just curl up into a little fetal position on that one. <laughs> so Jason, as we're watching the credits, fondest memories from Halo 1. <laughs> Bernie's girlfriend almost killing me with a dart gun at three in the morning. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought of. <laughs> what, what was your what was your least least fond memory of one? Bernie's girlfriend almost <laughs> killing me with a dart gun at three in the morning. <laughs> 
Marcy, last crunch. Huh, do you yeah, see I wonder, that? Uh, one or Halo 2? I just said it right there in Halo 1. Mm. Really? Yeah, that didn't work out too good. Does Marcy know that you lied? Oh, look at that. Susan Lusty and then... My wife was, was pregnant with oh, our first child. That is so cool. And I'm glad Jason talked during the break. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be some good stuff to put over the script. Because <laughs> what we just said was <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was really, uh, it's cool. I was really kind of floored by that. I haven't, uh, yeah, I haven't watched that in a long time. More black. Well, there's always got to be more black. Got to be more black. Oh. oh. What? Is that a star? What is I that? think it's Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this has never been used before. <laughs> not over. Ah, yes. It's not over.